Welcome to Kids Invent Stuff! We're building Joel's TV remote firing robots. What she said. Let's go! Kids Invent Stuff. To build Joel's invention, we'll start with some robot tank tracks and we'll create a motorised turret with a TV remote launcher that we can aim and fire. So Joel's invention is a tank, so we're going to build this tracked robot which our remote launcher is going to sit on top of. So to do that we've got these Caterpillar tracks and we've got these motors and we've got all these other glorious components that when combined together will create the tank for Joel's invention. We've got some robot tracks. So we've built our tracked robot chassis. Time to see if it works. So we've got the tank base for Joel's invention and Joel's invention launches TV remotes. Now there's lots of ways that you can fire things. We've used crossbow to fire a zip wire. We've used uh, some compressed air to fire some custard bombs. So this time we thought why don't we build a catapult? Catapult! This is the kind of traditional catapult that you see in films and cartoons and things, and it basically just has some stretchy elastic that you can pull back to fire things, rocks and pebbles and things. But we want to make a high-tech one that we can mount onto the robot tank, and we're going to use a linear actuator, a pushing and pulling motor, so that we can pull back our elastic and release it to fire out Joel's TV remote at the person who needs it. So we've got a platform uh, which will allow us to aim our catapult and to turn it we're using a windscreen wiper motor which we haven't tried yet. So let's see if I've wired it correctly. Here goes. One. Ah! It works! Spin. Stop. Spin. Now just imagine a massive catapult on there. It's spinning. So to create the catapult for Joel's robot tank, we've got these lengths of aluminium that we're going to join together to create a V with this central channel that we can place our TV remote inside. And what we'll use is our elastic, like a traditional catapult, that we can mount on the end, pull back, and then use it to fire our TV remote from the tank. This is our little catapult and we've got our little linear actuator and that's going to go up and down to release this which is our beautiful catapult. There we go. Okay so our catapult is loaded and we need something to test it with. What are we, we going to buy? Oh that one. What? What's my bunch? Let's use Sean's lunch. <laughs> Do you want this movie? What could go wrong? I think it might just mush the smush the banana like all over the catapult <laughs> and even if it does fire it's just going to smush it against those clamps there. Or we might just get our face just covered in banana. It might just smack me in the face. Just a, a face full of smushed <laughs> banana. Anything could happen. Literally anything could happen. Three, two, one. <laughs> Peeled the banana. <laughs> We've I created can, a banana peeler. I can still eat it as well. Look. It's just, it's <laughs> How does it taste? Mm. <laughs> we have made an uh, a motorized catapult. This is exciting. So our catapult is set, and our linear actuator is ready to release our catapult. But this isn't just an ordinary robot. This is a personal assistance robot. So. 
We're gonna use Alexa as the brains of the robot, and we're gonna connect her using this smart switch. And what that will allow us to do is to use our voice control for Alexa to turn the turret and to fire our TV remote. So we're gonna connect... <laughs> I nearly smashed Alexa. <laughs> I was trying to be cool by like throwing and catching it like a TV presenter, but I just messed it up. So we're going to connect Alexa to Joel's robot. We're going to connect that box to a, an Arduino circuit board that we can program. And we've written a little bit of code for that. And that will allow us to send our voice commands, turn on our motors and turn on our linear actuator to control the tank and fire a catapult to release our TV remote. So I have a bit of a confession. Whenever I'm writing code, I like to listen to really cheesy 80s synth music um, because it makes me feel like I'm some kind of 80s hacker. When you're building a robot, it's very important to be uh, very careful and meticulous with your wiring. It's alive. Googly eyes! We made a robot! A massive thank you to Joel. We love your TV launching robot. It has googly eyes and a, a catapult that looks a little bit like a carrot. <laughs> also, a massive thank you to Autodesk for supporting this challenge. Thank you guys. We are super excited to test Joel's invention by firing some TV remotes. And if you enjoyed watching us make Joel's invention idea, don't forget to check out the invention we made last month, which was Courtney's giant crossbow that fires a zip wire. <laughs> if you want to see us fire this, you should definitely watch the video. We launch a giant grappling hook and Ruth escapes from a tower. Which was very scary, but also very awesome. <laughs> definitely watch it and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button so you can be reminded when we post a new video. See you next time. Bye! Bye. Kids invent stuff. <laughs>